Hello everyone, a very welcome to Vyas Edification Quota. So today in the series of NCRT discussion, we are going to take a very interesting chapter, a good chapter, a beautiful chapter and a knowledgeable chapter as well that is Animal Kingdom. This chapter is from 11th standard and it is fourth number chapter in your NCRT and this chapter is actually containing total 15 questions in it. So in the series of NCIT discussion, we are going to discuss each and every question in detail. And let's begin with this. That is first question on the screen. What are the difficulties that you would face in classification of animals if common fundamental features are not taken into account? So first of all, what are the fundamental features? This question is asking about what difficult what difficulties would you find if not if uh, the fundamental features is not taken into account for the classification system of animals so first of all you need to understand what are the fundamental features first of all so we know from the knowledge of animal kingdom as we have already studied i hope you all are st all studied the animal kingdom so we know that what are the fundamental features included in the animal kingdom and are the basis of classification for animals so we know that we already studied about the cellular organization all right organization of the body we already have talked about or we already know the symmetry body symmetry the presence of coelom the presence of germinal or embryonic layers all right all these common features whether they are present in some uh, organisms or whether they are absent in organisms on the basis of presence of fundamental characters or features we classify different kind of organisms into their respective categories so these are the fundamental features first first of all now this question is asking what are the difficulties that you would face in classification of animals if common fundamental features are not taken into account now as we know that we have a huge diversity we have a numerous kind of animals on earth present right now so we have a huge diversity a diversity of animal huge diversity of all living organisms i must say we have not of only animals we have a huge diversity if we talk about plants if you talk about bacteria if you talk about other animals uh, all right other organisms fungi uh, and uh, algae all right all of these uh, animals all of these organisms including protists uh, all that so we have a huge diversity on our earth so if we don't consider any system or on any basis but if we don't consider the common feature common fundamental features if we don't take the common fundamental features into account to classify different organisms then it would be just impossible to study the organisms at individual level it would be impossible it would be impossible to study each and every organism as we have a huge huge diversity even in the plant kingdom we have a huge diversity of animals so it would be not easy it would be just impossible to study each and every organism at individual level also if we do not take common fundamental feature as into account to classify different kind of animals then we could not find we cannot find evolutionary relationship we cannot find the interrelationship between different kind of animals this is also a drawback if we do not take common fundamental features into an account to classify different kind of animals also a huge diversity of animals we have then it would be impossible to take all the animals as a picture we could not find the pictures we could not see or we could not imagine the animals we could not imagine their characters the physical appearance so it would be impossible to classify the animals into different categories also the last but not least we cannot find 
the animals into different categories. We do not put the, them into different categories on the basis of either the morphological, physiological, and also we could not find the evolutionary relationship and the development of new species. All right, so these all are the reasons if we do not consider the common features, common fundamental features or characters to classify different kind of animals. So this was the answer and let's write about this answer. As this question is asking about if the common fundamental feature is not taken into account to classify different kind of animals into different categories. So first of all, we will write that the answer will goes like we have we have a huge diversity all right we huge we have huge diversity of living organisms of living organisms and animals as well animals as well if we, if we do not, do not consider, if we do not consider the common fundamental, the common fundamental features for classification, for classification then it would be impossible to classify or study. It would be, it would be just impossible to study and even to classify the organisms or animals into different categories. It will be impossible to study the animals as we are talking about only animals in this chapter. So we'll write animals. It would be impossible to study the animals at individual, individual level. All right. Also, we could not find also, we could not find the interrelationship, interrelationship between different animals. All right. Also, we cannot we cannot take pictures at a glance, at a glance of all animals. And we cannot find the development. We cannot, the last but not least, we cannot find, cannot find the development of animals. So this is the complete answer of question number one here on the screen.